As you know, in Israel, unlike what most of us are accustomed to, we're accustomed to, from the States, voting for a person. Here in Israel, you vote for a party. The only time that you actually vote for a, a walking person, a real living and breathing person, is during the primaries. That's it. This is really the only time you could exercise your full democratic right. You could vote for a human being as opposed to a piece of paper of which uh, I don't know how many of you have voted in the past or how many of you are Olim Chadashim. You walk into the ballot box, the voting booth, and uh, I always say Israel is extremely technologically advanced. Israel is super high tech in all areas except voting day when it looks like Nigeria in 1603. And um, what happens is, you know, you walk in and there's pieces of paper flying all over the place. They're trying to close the door because everyone's papers are flying all over. And you put, you know, the, the, the piece of paper into the envelope and you put it in the box like they did in the caveman days. And the only time that you really vote for a person is in the primary. So here we're having a primary in, in nine days, ten days, a week from Tuesday. And people are saying, boycotting. Why are they boycotting? What, what are they afraid of? They're afraid of, you know, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Who's afraid of Moshe Feiglin? What, what are they afraid of? He's, he's a, a member of Likud. He has received so many offers to leave Likud and has stayed loyal to Likud. There are so many Knesset members there today on the Likud list because of Moshe. He has shown his loyalty to Likud and he will strengthen Likud. As a matter of fact, we know that recently, Yair Lapid, who has just thrown his hat into the uh, political ring, and there's going to be more hats thrown in there. Literally, a nice big black hat will be coming in from Arya Derry, who will be throwing his hat into the ring, and others will be joined. This will be a very exciting elections coming up. Likud must be strong. There is one way, and only one way, for Likud to remain in power next time. They must go to the right. The center is much too congested. You're having a Yair Lapid, who I believe will form a some type of coalition with Aryeh Deri. You have Kadima that's falling off the map, Baruch Hashem. You have Shelly Yichimovich that has breathed some new life, done a Tchiyat Hametim to the Labour Party. A lot of things are happening. The only way that Likud will stay in power, which it must, is by going to the right. And the only way it will go to the right is if it has somebody standing at its helm who is opposed to a Palestinian state and who is pro, really pro, Jewish settlement in every inch of the land of Israel and Jewish education for every child in the country and a real, a real something that we could all look forward to and be proud of. After all, this is our dream. Look, I've told people many times, I understand that. I understand Emmanuel who's, who's voting for motion hoping that he not win. Moshe is not a candidate. Moshe is a revolution. You have to be ready for that. You really have to be ready for that. Silvan Shalom is a candidate. Gidon Sar is a candidate. These are all nice candidates. But if you know, and if you really see where Israel is headed, we don't need a candidate. We really need a revolution. I'm talking, of course, bloodless. I'm not talking about taking tanks into the Knesset, God forbid. Civil war, of course, has to be avoided at all costs. I'm talking about unity. I'm talking about love. And I'm talking about spreading something to every Jew in this country. When you talk peace, half the country is for a Palestinian state, half is against, pro the peace process, against the peace process. That divides us. Talk settlements, it's a good way to start an argument in Israel. But talk Jewish values. Ask your average non kippah wearing individual, do you want your son and daughter to learn his or her, about his or her heritage, do you want them to know where they came from? Do you want them to, to, to understand what Shabbat is? We're not looking to put tefillin on the men or extra long skirts on the women. We're looking to educate through tolerance, through acceptance, and through love of every Jew. Just one comment about the Central Committee, and that is I have been a Central Committee for the last nine years or ten years, since the last election. I know what the Central Committee it is, is, and I guarantee you, that Moshe Fraglin and the Mani Good Yudit members are a strong block. We have over 600 candidates up for Central Committee and or Moetzet Snifim. So we are putting a lot of emphasis into it. We believe how, uh, in, in, in the importance of it. And I guarantee you, we will make a strong impact on the Central Committee to reflect the type of Likud 
that each and every one of you want.